everyone today I'm going to do a bit of a different video and um, I'm thinking of starting a new series on this channel and I'm thinking of starting a series called favorite quotes where I find or I choose a book and I just read out some of my favorite quotes from different books in videos so Let's do this. <laughs> As you can probably tell from the title of this video, up, bottom, top, wherever, today I'm going to do some of my favourite quotes from, from the great book by the amazing Sarah Rush. I'm going to choose some of my favourite quotes from Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush. This book is so good. Everyone read it. Read it, read it. I want Frost Like a Night now. Please. Please and thank you. Well, some of these quotes may give slight spoilers to this book, so maybe if you haven't finished the book you may want to be careful if you to just in case you get spoiled, so spoiler warning. And now finally I'm moving and doing what I've always wanted, helping my kingdom. The world is full of lovely people, Mera. I bet somewhere there is an Altumnian girl wanting to have skin the colour of snow, just as you want the skin the colour of earth. Fear is the seed that, once planted, never stops growing. White strands stream around me, some matted with sewer muck, but most tossing in the wind. A living snowstorm, by a vibrant white reminder that they haven't, they haven't enslaved every Winterian. Some of us are still alive. Some of us are still free, and some of us are half a locket closer to taking back our kingdom. My heart won't bump against my, against my ribs, and I don't look away from you, hating how with one glance you can crack me open. Anyone else I'd be able to ignore, to hide my hair from them, from them behind a cookie smell, but mother sees everything. I hate heat. I hate the sweat that drips between my shoulder blades, the way that the sun rays make every, every bare area of skin roll. Same. I don't need made up strength. I'm strong enough on my own. Me, Lara, no magic or conduit or anything. But it would be nice. For once, not to be so weak. To not look at all we've done and know that we still have so very far to go before we can be safe. To be powerful. I smooth my dress. Prince Daryl, I guess. <laughs> when they first meet, I love that so much. You can tell I like their own. <laughs> so, I start as we pull to the left in the hall. You're the King of Cordell's son. How's that? Their own chuckle. But official sometimes, horrible others. You're beautiful. How's that? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> There will always be a they in your new life mirror. They make decisions. They mould your future. The trick is to find a way to still be you through it all. That's why literature is so fascinating. It is always up for interpretation and could be a hundred different things to a hundred different people. It's never the same thing twice. This is who I am, isn't it? The untamed, unpredictable, useless orphan girl. Oh, just wait, Mera. Just wait. <laughs> it's okay, baby. <laughs> All I ever wanted for was for you to look at me. <laughs> Sir and Nava and Theron might be lost, but the Winterians aren't. As lo and as long as they live, I am not entirely alone. <sighs> Someday we'll, we will be more than words in the dark. I fought so long and so hard to be me, to be Mera in all of this, to help them to my own unique way. But, th but this isn't about what I, what I want, it is about what Winter needs. It's always been about what Winter needs. Even the strongest blizzard starts with a single snowflake. I want to be something worthy of my kingdom. I want to be someone worthy of you. Winter has a conduit now, and we won't be weak anymore.
Claude Allen Autumn are at Springs Gates, but our freedom is not theirs to win, I shout over the crowd. The next words stick in my throat, building and building alongside all the bubbling anxiety, the years of abuse, the scars, the blood and the gore. We are winter. Cornell and Garagansk tip their heads back, arms outstretched as they shout to the sky, a battle cry that spreads to every winterian, their voices creaking, their eyes shining. We are winter, Nessa echoes, and leaps over the fallen spring bodies, running up the road with her stolen sword blazing above her head. They follow her, dashing over bodies, waving weapons like banners of victory. Their strength, conduit given or not, is invigorating, filling me with my own magic, and I want to bask in it forever. <sighs> that is quite possibly, it's not really a quote, but it's quite possibly my favourite part of the entire book. I love it so much. I bend down to Mabba and Sir and pull one ha put one hand on each of their shoulders. They look up at me, tears making them look morbidly happy. I exhale and smile. Let's go home. <sighs> I'm a warrior, a soldier, a lady, a queen, and most of all, as I plunge across the snow field towards January's silent ruin, I'm Mera. And no matter what anger might try to do, what he will not stop me from washing away the ashes of this kingdom's past and filling our lives with the glorious, icy piece of snow. I love this book so much. <laughs> so that's it for this video. I, as you can tell, I love Snow Like Ashes. That book makes me so happy. Thanks Sarah Rush for writing the book. <laughs> and that's it for this video today, so if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below some of your favourite quotes if you have any from this book, and that's about it for today, bye! I have colours of skin of earth, skin, let's start that one again, in the colour of earth. Oh, I got it wrong again, I, I can read, I promise I can read. Someday we'll, we will be more than what just...